In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a tournament bracket in Excel. You'll learn how to build a bracket that highlights the winner, grays out the loser, and automatically moves names forward. And once you learn the basics, I'll show you how to expand the bracket so you can build any size bracket that you want to. That being said, let's get started. You want to begin with a blank Excel workbook. And the first thing that you will do is click here to select all cells. Then right click on the row headers, select row height, set the height to 20, and click OK. Right click on the column headers, select column width, set the width to 4, and click OK. Then click the down arrow next to the fill color button and select this gray here. Also, change the vertical alignment to middle and change the horizontal alignment to center. Next, I want you to select column B, then hold control and also select columns F, J, and N. Set the horizontal alignment to left, then right click, column width, set the size to 20, and click OK. Okie dokie, now we will build the boxes that make up the bracket. Start by selecting the range B2 through C3. Click the fill color button and select no fill. Then click the down arrow next to the borders button and select more borders. For the color, select this gray here, click the outline and inside buttons, and click OK. Next, copy these cells, then select cell B6 and paste, then select B10 and paste, B14, paste, F4, paste, F12, paste, J8, and paste. Then, once your layout looks like this, go ahead and type in some sample names in the first column like so. The next step is to add data validation to make it easy to assign wins and losses to each matchup. Start by selecting C2 through C3, then hold Control and also select C6 through C7, C10 through C11, C14 through C15, G4 through G5, G12 through G13, and K8 through K9. With all of these cells selected, go to Data, Data Validation. Under Allow, select List, and for the source, enter W, L, and click OK. Now, you can assign wins and losses using the drop-down menu like so. Okie dokie, now let's write the formulas that will carry the winner names forward throughout the bracket. Start by selecting cell F4. The name that goes here is going to be the winner of the first match, and the formula will look like this. Equals if function C2 equals quote W quote next argument B2 next argument if function C3 equals quote W quote next argument B3, next argument, quote, dash, quote, close parentheses, close parentheses. Now here's how the formula works. It checks to see if the first player has a W. If so, the formula grabs that player's name. If not, the formula checks to see if the second player has a W. If so, the formula grabs that player's name. And if not, it returns a dash instead. And really, that's all there is to it. Now, once you've gotten the formula working, go ahead and select the formula text in the formula bar and copy it. Then select the cell below, click in the formula bar, and paste the formula text. From here, change the following references to C6, 
b6, c7, and b7. This way, the formula refers to the results and names from the second match instead of the first match, and you should end up with the name of the winner from match 2. Once you have it working, you can select F4 and F5, copy the cells, select cell F12, and paste. The references for the formulas should update correctly since this match box is the same relative distance away from these two matches as this one is to these two matches. And you can verify that the formulas are working correctly by checking to see that the winners are correctly carried over. And once you have the formulas working, select cell F4, copy the formula text, select cell J8, click in the formula bar, and paste the formula text. Then change the references to G4, F4, G5, and F5. After that, select cell J9, click in the formula bar, paste the formula text, and update the references to G12, F12, G13, and F13. You can then add wins and losses to verify that the formulas are working correctly. Okie dokie, that does it for the formulas. Now we will add conditional formatting to highlight the winners in each round. Start by selecting all of the result cells like so. Then go to Home, Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cell Rules, Equal To. In this box, type in W, and in the next box, select Custom Format. Under the Font tab, change the font style to bold, and under the Fill tab, select More Colors, Custom, then for the hex code, enter E6FFEE, -E, and click OK, then OK, and then OK. Awesome. With all of these cells still selected, go to Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cell Rules, Equal To. In the first box, type in L, and in the second box, select Custom Format. Under the Font tab, change the color to this gray here, then click OK and OK. Next, go ahead and select all of the name cells. Then, go to Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format, and in the box below, type in the following formula. Equals C2 equals quote W quote. Now note that C2 is the address of the first result cell here. If yours is in a different place, make sure to update this reference accordingly. And once you have it, click on Format. Then under the Font tab, change the font style to bold, then click OK and OK. Now, for some reason, Excel has this bug where it's not working the way it should at first. So to fix this, go to Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules. Change this option to This Worksheet, and you should see three rules below. The top rule is the one that we just added. Select that one and click Edit Rule. You will notice that for some reason, Excel changed the C2 reference that we typed in earlier to this other random reference. I don't know why Excel changed it, it must be some sort of bug. But to fix it, just change the reference back to C2 and click OK. And now we can see that it's correct. And once it is, select the rule again, and this time click Duplicate and then click Edit. Change the W to an L, then click on Format, and under the Font tab, change the font style back to Normal, 
then change the font color to this gray here, and finally click OK, OK, and OK. Awesome, now we just need to add in the bracket lines. Click the borders button here and change the line color to this gray. Now this is going to put Excel into draw borders mode, and you can tell because your mouse icon should look like this. And it also means that you can use your mouse to draw the bracket lines. So go ahead and do so like this. And if you make a mistake along the way, just click the undo button on top or press control Z. Finally, once you are finished drawing the borders, go to borders and select draw border to turn off draw borders mode. Okie dokie, now that we have our bracket, I'm going to show you how to add to it and make it bigger. Start by selecting the entire bracket like so, and copy the range. Then, go three cells below the bottom of the bracket, and paste. From here, you can use copy and paste to add new matchboxes, and just make sure that you update the formulas along the way. Just use the same techniques that we've already covered in this tutorial. And you can repeat this process to make this bracket as big as you want it to be. That being said, I'm going to revert back to the small bracket for now to finish up the last bit where we will add the winner display here at the end. So go ahead and select a range that is five rows by three columns like so. And then go to fill color and select white. Next, in the middle, select the top two cells and click this button here to merge and center. Also, bold the font, change the font size to 16, and type in winner. Then, use the fill handle to copy the merged cell down like so. Delete winner, and then go to fill color and select the custom green here that we added earlier. Next, click the down arrow next to the borders button and select more borders. For the color, select more colors, click on custom, and for the hex code, type in 31937A. Click OK, click the outline button, and click OK. Then select the entire white box, go to borders, more borders, change the color to gray, click outline, and click OK. Finally, select the green cell and enter the following formula. Equals if function k8 equals quote w quote next argument j8 next argument if function k9 equals quote w quote next argument j9 next argument quote dash quote close parentheses close parentheses and press enter it's the same formula that we've been using this entire time and as a final touch select column m right click and insert to add a little more space. Just like that, you're done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and leave me a comment if you have any questions at all. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe for more, and I'll see you again soon in the next Spreadsheet Life video. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you tied